Now, following weeks of protests in South Korea, which was sparked by a series of teachers' suicides, the country has now passed a set of legal revisions aimed at improving the rights of educationists in schools. The four bills, collectively known as the Teachers' Rights Restoration Bills, were passed at the National Assembly on Thursday and represented a significant step towards enhancing the working conditions and the protections for educators in the country. Now, under the new legislation, which also had unanimous support, teachers will no longer be automatically suspended if they're accused of child abuse. The bill also prohibits school principals from downplaying or concealing activities that may have violated a teacher's rights. Third, financial support will also be made available to teachers fighting lawsuits, and there will be more responsibility on head teachers to protect their staff. New government guidelines introduced earlier this month also stipulate that teachers are allowed to remove disruptive students from the classroom and restrain them if necessary. The Korean Federation of Teachers Unions welcomed the new legislation, saying they would both expand the right to teach and protect students' right to learn. The union expressed its deepest gratitude to the teachers who took to the streets eight weeks in a row demanding better conditions and said that today's achievements were down to their strength. The legal amendments follow weeks of protests after the suicide in July of a 23-year-old primary school teacher who had been dealing with complaints from parents. It's heartbreaking for every citizen in South Korea. How can this happen in the public education field? They studied hard to go to education schools and become teachers because they love children. Why do they have to die like this in the classroom? Why do people who lead our country say nothing about this? The protesting teachers express frustration over the abusive treatment that they say they receive not only from parents but also students, including being accused of child abuse. The National Assembly must listen to the cries of teachers. The Ministry of Education must protect teachers who are dying. Establish practical measures to guarantee teachers' right to survive. If the current system and school culture do not change, there will always be a second or third so-so elementary school teacher. In addition, the Seoul Office of Education announced plans this week to record all calls made to teachers by parents and to install a chatbot to act as the first line of defense for parents' complaints. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.